There's no hype video needed for a product like this. But hey, let's test it out. Like any good adventure, it starts in the Starbucks. We got a crazy next week ahead of us, and it's gonna be nuts, so stay tuned. But before we can jump into all this fun, we first gotta build out these drums. So I approached some of the best builders in my area and found out it was pretty easy to swap out the old air unit for the new one. Right from the first look of the OS3, you can see that the lightweight, compact design will allow for longer flights and easier assembly into a variety of different frames. The installation and the binding process was relatively simple. After some soldering, wiring, and a bit of design, we are itching to burn some packs. But the real question is, how does it look? But is it worth switching all my quads to this new system? The truth is, you could wait, but you'd be missing out. Let's go do that tight hill climb section, and I'm just gonna be right behind you. It's crazy how much range this thing has. It's nuts. Just impressed. The reality is the new 1.7 inch sensor on a 4K onboard camera transmitting full HD low latency video to your new V3 goggles is truly unparalleled to any other system out there. In simple terms, it's a Nevada on any FPV frame. This tool takes the FPV experience to a whole new sphere unlocking creative expression, and unleashing a completely new feeling. At the end of the day, all specs aside, the feeling you get going from the old goggles or analog to this new system is honestly mind-blowing. Okay, I got it. I need to get better at that. Now, most people would say that the stabilization coming from a camera like this could never compete with real SETI but I'd suggest otherwise. With the new compatibility of gyro flow, while using the wide field of view and turning off rock steady, you are able to import the footage afterwards, getting an impressive stability results with fast render times. And if you're like me, that really is kind of over the post stabilization process, then I've found success in shooting ultra wide using rock steady, which has worked pretty well for getting some smooth shots. So the plan is we want to film that waterfall and this is the best vantage point. Our boy Brandon is going to go out there. He is about 800 meters away climbing down this ridge to the top of the waterfall. The real question is, is how good are these air units when it comes to just natural long range? Now we're rocking one DJI antenna that comes with the air unit, but I'm trusting the antenna is going to hold up and give us clean signal all the way through. <laughs> Brendan killed it. Um, we got some awesome shots. Now we're gonna roll out and get off of this cliffside before this rain comes. So right now we are about a mile and a half away testing the long range capabilities. But we are honestly not losing too many bars. So it's a bit sketchy when you're flying long range and everyone that flies FPV knows this. And so the idea is, how much can you push your luck while not losing a quad? So DJI claims an impressive 30 millisecond 
up to 10 kilometer digital video transmission on the new air unit. And with coming back to Hawaii, I knew I had to test out the long range capabilities on some of the most impressive spines in the world. We need to get set up before the tours arrive. And that means we need a hike all the way up there, get the FPV set up, do a long range test, get everything dialed. Let's do it. Being able to experience the landscape in a whole new way is truly special and honestly, this is why we do it. Let's go, dude. That was so sick. Literally just diving through the clouds. Oh my God. Freeway 2, easy right off. We're going to do a poly transition. What's up y'all thanks so much for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the content please hit that like subscribe button and it really helps so much appreciate it and on the next one